Greetings, my esteemed subscribers. It is time, it is yet again time for a good old Wild Hunt challenge. Now, I have made quite a few of these challenges over the years, and they are quite similar to each other, this one being no exception. This is good, however, because, as Aristotle teaches us, Excellence is a habit, so we're gonna continue to implement good habits in our lives and if you if this is the first Wild Hunt challenge you participate in a warm welcome I hope you will enjoy this month so you can start whenever you want basically and you can Do it for 30 days if you want or for how long you want you can do it for the rest of your life as well but you can start with 30 days a month at least so we have a few different steps and I will now present them to you so first and foremost since this is at the start of the year and uh, it doesn't really matter when you should always have one anyway I'm talking about a notebook so a, a planner where you can note down whatever you are about to do what uh, you should do what you have planned now of course it's good to you know, write down things to remember, but there is also a more profound insight to be had when it comes to these planners, and that is when you write something down, it becomes more real, and when you sort of tick it off that you've done something, that gives you a nice sense of accomplishment, which um, will fuel your motivation. So, I've written here today, Gym Strict Press. So that is my plan. Those are my plans for the day, and then when I'm done with whatever I have planned, then I will just take it off and get a nice sense of reward in my in my spirit. So that is the first step in uh, this particular challenge, to get a notebook. And even if you don't participate in this fine challenge, you can still get a notebook because it's great mate. Now, the second step is to read a book. If you haven't done so, this is absolutely mandatory to read the Dauntless The Wild Hunt edition. Now, the reason I'm having this as a mandatory step in this fine video is that I get a lot of questions all the time and most of those questions I do respond to in, in this fine book. Now, if you have already read it, I salute you, then you can choose another book. Now, when we're talking about books in general, we have to ask ourselves the following question before choosing a book. So we want to ask ourselves, why do I want to read this book? Often it can be the case that you want to read a classic so that you can say that you have read something, but if you do that, then you need to ask yourself, what am I looking for here? I made a video a while back where I talked about, you know, how to read classics. So what do you, what are you out for in reading this book? So perhaps you want to get an insight into the worldview of a certain author who lived in a certain time and place, Dostoevsky, what was his worldview living in pre-revolution Russia. It's a quite interesting perspective to read it from. So whenever you choose a book, ask yourself, what am I looking for in this book? Why am I reading it? Then it becomes more easy for you to, you know, pick up these nuances in the book that um, will help you, will enlighten you. So that can be a good idea. Now, moving on to the third step, and this is for everyone who trains in the Temple of Iron. If you train MMA or something else, then you can discard this step. But if you only train in the Temple of Iron, which I do now, by the way, I focus fully on um, the Temple of Iron, then the step, then this particular step of the challenge is to start a schedule. And I can speak from personal experience here, the difference between training when you have a training schedule and when you don't have a training schedule, it's um, it's massive. It's two completely different things. And if you don't train with a schedule, it's sort of like going into going on um, an exploration without a map and a compass. You don't really know what to do. And if you don't really have anything to aim for each session, if you don't know what to do each session, then um, yeah, you will wander about aimlessly and uh, progression will not be yours so find a schedule there are plenty free ones online you can use search for them good training plan or whatever small of junior uh, russian squat routine one of these schedules the important thing is that you get on a schedule so that you know exactly every day what to do if you only go into the gym without any plan then um, yeah you're 
results will most likely not be satisfactory. So that is actually a part of the plan that find a good training plan and stick to it for yeah however long it uh, it is. It can be three weeks, four weeks, seven weeks, doesn't really matter as long as you go on a plan. Fourth step is to meditate every day. And this is, it doesn't need to be any great amount of time. You can start with 10 minutes. And also here, I would suggest, I would highly recommend that you do a guided meditation. A really good one is the Wim Hof guided breathing. So three rounds, it's absolutely great. It's a great starting point as well for you to, you know, get in the routine of meditating and uh, getting into the sort of exercises. Then of course you can do um, different stuff later on. If you are used to meditating, if you have a good routine, if you know what you're doing, then yes, you can continue the exploration. But if you aren't used to meditating, then you can start with Wim Hof or any other guided meditation. There are meditations to activate your chakras. I will talk about this in a different video. Uh, as long as you actively know what you're doing, because otherwise it's quite common to just sit down and uh, close your eyes and uh, the thoughts start to wander. So it's better if you actively know what you are doing and having a guided meditation is uh, great. So I would recommend starting with the Wim Hof one. So anyway, this step is to meditate 10 minutes at least every day to get into the routine, the habit of it. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, last step is to do a 24 hour fast over these uh, 30 days. I've already done mine for this month. Felt, well, it didn't really feel great, mate. Uh, it felt, um, it felt okay. It's not the worst. So basically what I did was simply that in the morning I drank my usual butter coffee. So one teaspoon of coconut oil, one teaspoon of butter, gourmet coffee. And that was the only calories I consumed that day. So yeah, basically that was the only thing I um, consumed that day. I also had a green tea without any calories, of course. And uh, yeah, then I simply tried to keep myself occupied so the thoughts of food wouldn't come to me. But uh, yeah, it's basically one day where your body gets a chance to autophagy max to clean out uh, old cells. So basically what the body does is that it eats up old and damaged um, cells. So it's sort of like a clean, a cleanse, if you will, uh, which you can do every once in a while. It's not super, it's not a super fun day necessarily, but it's also not super bad as soon as you get used to it. So it can be good to implement one of these fasts every, every once in a while. And it's also a, a challenge for you to overcome yourself. So yeah, that is uh, the last step of this particular challenge. So we have five steps and uh, it's all about implementing good routines. If you are new to any of these things, view it as a um, great start of the year. New year, new me. Now I'm joking. I have always been the same ever since my birth during the Nordic Bronze Age. That's how old my spirit is, even though this body might be young. So anyway, do accept this challenge, do view this as an opportunity to implement great habits into your life. And if you only manage to get one of these habits to stick with you, then that's absolutely a victory. So anyway, do let me know in the comment section if you participate in this challenge and we can be accountable to each other. Also, keep in mind that even though I am the enlightened one, the celestial lion of wisdom, I am also you know, all of these things, they apply to me too. I am also, in some ways, also human. So I need to think about habits all the time. Which habits do I cultivate? Which habits are congruent with my path to the ideal version of myself? And all of these things I've listed here, they are very much congruent with the ideal version of myself. So I will participate in this challenge as well alongside you. So, thank you for watching, thank you for your support. XXO, boom!